Crashing. Crashing with friends. No, no need to have politics in the podcast anyway. Yeah, no, sure don't. <laughs> no, who's got a nice ass? That's Sarah Palin. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, okay, your top five hottest senators right now, Jack. Top five hottest senators right now. I I gotta pull up a list. All right. I imagine that AOC chick is probably on there, right? Do I have no, to? This is do not I have something to, you look up? I'm just, it was just a joke. You I know, was just, I was just about to say, do I have to do U.S. senators? Because I'm just going to type in hottest female senators. Oh, I just, fu- I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> we want the senators. <laughs> oh, damn it. Like, who was the hottest looking female United States senator in history? And the first thing on it was, that's a very low bar. It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to click on anyone's list of. Can I go to Switzerland, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Switzerland or Poland, one of those two. Mm-hmm. Don't know the most, the most about uh, senators or any of that maybe, kind of stuff. Maybe. We shouldn't be asking about senators. Maybe we should be asking about the House of Representatives. There's more there, bigger pool, mm. more diversity, you would think, you know. Senate's harder to obtain than the House of Representatives. The uh, more, so, more unobtainium? Yeah, more unobtainium in the uh, Senate. Yeah. Or an obtaining in the Senate. That's what Kyle <laughs> want to go with. I'm rolling with it. I tried to go somewhere with it, but I was just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Explain yourself, Kyle. <laughs> you uh, will add on right. to what you just said. <laughs> All right. Y'all, let's... Go. Let's uh, dive on in it, yeah, shall we? Intro, intro that thing. Yeah, welcome to Crashing with Friends podcast episode... What is it, Kyle? <laughs> what is it? Uh, stop touching each other. 145. I'll break you two up. Don't even start this. <laughs> yeah, it's just the boys today. You got me, Jackson Brandman. Got Kyle. And we got Connor. The Hobbs Bros. Yo! Yeah. Eden Bros. <laughs> yeah. So. You definitely got just... to go, dig them bros. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hop right on into it. Connor, let's start with you. How's your week going, dude? It's been a good week. I've been um, keeping up with the Kardashians, <laughs> of course, uh, which is the Republican National Convention. We're getting political these days, but we're keeping it off the podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just wanted, like I, like I always say every time these elections come up, like I'm an independent voter. I am... I am a single entity. I do not get influenced one way or the other. I look at all of it. So I felt like in order, even though this is a candidate, I know I felt like I still had to watch and, you know, see what had happened with him mentally after the assassin assassination attempt, you know, um, based on what I saw could go either way. As far as who he is now, what I do know is that, We've still got months to decide who we dis- <laughs> who we want and who we don't it? want. No, I didn't get it. Um, so it's just like, you know, keep an open mind. That's what I would say to everybody out there. Don't just make a judgment. I mean, we got a vote in November, I believe, and it's July now. Pop, boop, beep, pop. We got a couple months, and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, more comes to light. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's, Hopefully we find out more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully more is revealed over these next few months. Uh, if you know what I mean. What else uh, more is there to tell? Yeah. We should just vote tomorrow, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else more could there be? Like, yeah. what are we going to get that we haven't already got out of these two dudes? That'd be crazy yeah. if there were like, surprise, like, <laughs> surprise vote tomorrow. They're just like, screw it. Nope. Yeah. Yep. So, we'll see. There's, there's a lot of talk that Biden might 
potentially drop out, but I mean, that would be a, a big if. So we'll see. I mean, politics, man, who knows what's going on? Shadow government, are they real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the clones are real. <laughs> They're out there in numbers. I would say I'm, I'm more like you, man. I'm I'm not one of those people that's just going to be swayed by by like one side. Just I'm not going to be like I'm this side my whole entire life. Yeah, I'm a this, so I'm gonna do this with them because that's how I roll. You know? Yeah, I was born of this. I'm gonna be of this. You're like, nah, dude. Like I I gotta see the person, man. I'm not. Everything is not so black and white. Like mm-hmm. who. Who cares about the name? Like, I want to see the person, and hopefully they're telling the truth when they say their things. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. but... Yeah. I got to shake their hand, you know? Really? King of the Hill. You ever see that episode where he he shakes some candidate's hand, and he's... It was just a very light, nothing handshake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and oh because of that, goodness. he lost all faith in the man. Wasn't it George? <laughs> I think uh, it was George Bush. Yeah, the first one, right? Yeah. George H.W. Bush? I think it was George H.W. Might have been. Maybe. Eh, I remember to... I remember the Jimmy Carter episode. I always remember the ending. It's like, do yeah. you acknowledge his right to exist? <laughs> <laughs> if there was a button that you could press, they'll make your son vanish. Would you press that button? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I want it. <laughs> he goes and tells Hank about it. He's like, hey, would it press the button? <laughs> yeah so that that's where we're at in america these days um aside from that just playing video games <laughs> like usual uh watch the boys season finale it was a banger dude yeah, dude straight banger it turned out i was a couple episodes behind i was you were? two and a half episodes behind really oh wow so, okay so i basically Turned on the episode where you see Homeboy starting to sit on a cake and farting on it. <laughs> okay. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> like, this guy's just choking himself, and he's like watching, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'll try it. But, uh, yeah, from like, af- after that, it was like freaking insane, dude. Mm-hmm. Freaking yeah. that shapeshifter chick. Yeah. That was wild. I was wondering, like, whenever she started, like, ripping the skin off her, I was like, man, I can hear Kyle already in my head going, <laughs> No. Maybe no. Made me think of that music video of that guy ripping all the skin off while he's skating. And you guys remember that song? That music video? Yeah. Ripping his skin I off do. while he's skating? Yeah, and then yeah. by the end, he's like... He's uh, a skeleton just dancing. Yeah, he's like skin. a skeleton. Like, I think there's, like, a r- roller derby going on around him or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll look no it up. I'll we'll tell you is. guys. This will be a yo dude thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you wait for it. Uh, <laughs> Tune in at the end, end of the episode. <laughs> um, the content. Oh, it's great. <laughs> did you guys have anything you want to say about that season finale? Um, yeah, dude. I actually have a lot I wanted to say about it, man. Yeah, let's go ahead. And, uh, let's go ahead and hop into it, bro. For one, it was. Probably the, it was definitely the most intense episode of the whole season. Oh yeah, as far, far as the new like the graph graphicness of it, um, mm-hmm. and just the overall content of the show of the whole season, I thought was pretty graphic, mm-hmm. um, just like any other season. But um, as a as a season overall, though, I don't think it's one of their strongest seasons. I I feel that I felt uh, like the third season was better than the fourth for sure. Yeah, the third season was pretty strong, um, but yeah, I just don't feel like this season was as strong. It ended really strong, mm-hmm. you know. It ended with them like totally being a, a, a different status quo in the new season. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they're gonna definitely probably do something with A Train. Like, where was he at during the finale? I know he got a ticket and got out of there, but mm-hmm. like, still, uh, I can see A Train coming back and being the one that maybe gets him out of prison or something. Um, I wonder if any of them get. I wonder if any of them die in prison or any of that kind of thing. But right, kind of thought about reading the comic book to finish it out. But I'm like, yeah, I'll just probably wait. I'm probably sure the comic just isn't as good as the show. I started the comic book and it goes. It it is it is not as good, and it goes way harder as far as like what the superheroes do, mm-hmm. like more more graphic, more yeah. criminal. 
I can't talk about it because then YouTube yeah. will just be like, "All right, strike this episode." <laughs> yeah. Um, it was def- this season was really really political. Had a lot of like, uh, from a certain point of view, um, things that are happening on today. You know, in today's world, mm-hmm. a lot of that going on. Um, some of the some of the major characters that died during the during the finale it was just like what the heck, uh, that was wild. Um, one thing that what did kind of bum me out was that there wasn't very much like reference to Gen V throughout the whole season. There was mm-hmm. the obviously the virus that's a big part of Gen V is finding out where that virus comes from. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, that's where that because I mean they referenced that. I mean it came from Godalkin University or whatever they found it there, but. Um, there wasn't very many characters from that that kind of bummed me out up until the finale. The, the chick that walked up behind uh, uh, Frenchie and whispered into his ear or whatever. Mm-hmm. She, that's one of the main characters in Gen V. Heard about that. And that uh, <clears throat> kid, that strong-armed Kamika or whatever, he's mm-hmm. also in The Boys. He's one of the per- people that's kind of yeah. held captive. They uh, they like have a very small appearance in like a previous episode before that. I forget exactly what they're doing. I think they're like on some kind of stage and they're like doing some kind of, you know, TV thing. Mm. But uh, yeah, it kind of bummed me out that there wasn't more reference to Gen V. And also the main character, Gen V, she didn't show up at all. I wonder if she's going to be one of the people in prison or something like that. Or We'll, we'll see. Um, and that's, that's really all I had. I, I th- liked it a lot. I think the... Uh the Huey Starlight relationship kind of it was okay. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. The Huey dad stuff was the weakest part of the Huey stuff this season. The Starlight stuff was a little bit better than his dad, but all that stuff happened with his dad and his mom, I felt like did not need to be in the season, you know. Aside from that, I liked most of everything else with it. That's yeah. Me. Yeah, that was kind of like, why is this here? It's like, well, let's just finish this character story and then uh, move on, I guess. I don't know. I personally would have liked to see more like Soldier Boy tell him. Yeah, instead of being at the very end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's been some heavy spoilers for the boys, I guess. But some spoilers, I guess. Some yeah. spoilers. Yeah. What, what what score would you give the whole season, Jack? What score would I give the whole season? I would give it a solid. I give it a solid seven and a half to eight. I was thinking eight, personally. Yeah. I was thinking seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a good like C plus B minus. Probably B minus. I might just say seven and a half, just because. You'd split like, us. You'd be yeah. the you'd be the jack in the middle. Yeah, just because like I, there was a lot more wiener and man ass than there was boobies. They didn't balance it. Yeah, but you did get this. No, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> you talking about a uh, firecracker or whatever? That uh, was not, no, no I, part. I, I, I didn't. Opportunity, opportunity, right there. They were yeah. like, yo. Firecracker. I was like, yeah, I'd like to see Firecracker finally. Something for the homies, <laughs> the boys. For the boys, the show they call boys. <laughs> like, all right. And then it's like, nope, cut away. And then you find out, ah, Super Soaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I did like all that. I did like all the milk parts. Of <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. When I saw you get splashed in the face, I I laughed out loud. I yeah. was like, oh. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty was funny. Like, oh, you did. You did. <laughs> man, all the milk stuff with yeah. him was so just a touch of genius, man. So good. Mm-hmm. It is like, now that, like, I watched a YouTube video not too long ago that was talking about, like, there's a thing in movies and bad guys drinking milk all the time. Mm. Like, and it's just. And that once they pointed that out, it's like, damn, dude, there's so many movies where the bad guy is always drinking milk. Give us an example. No Country for Old Men. Independence there's a, Day. Yeah. Indep- <laughs> Independence <laughs> Day. <laughs> <laughs> he said, give you a movie. There you go, man. 
Terminator 2 <laughs> Inglorious <laughs> Bastards <laughs> They want more milk. <laughs> no, like they Inglourious get Bastards, all the like Christoph Waltz, part. Alien. Yeah, lots of milk. Yeah, spitting that milk out of people. Yeah. I think so. Darth Vader was drinking blue milk. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Jack. Sorry, what were you uh, saying, dude? But yeah, this is crazy. To, to, yeah, he drinks milk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love milk, <laughs> dude. I really I'm a do bad too, man. Boy. <laughs> that that shit, chocolate milk, yeah. Man, that shit tears my stomach up. But God, I love milk. Uh, I don't know what it is. I love milk. Yeah, it was great with cereal, I, dude. I have a problem with cookies and milk, like Oreos and milk. I probably eat like. Yeah, you get that from our childhood, man. Five and six, five or six Oreos a night with some milk right before bed. That's like my ritual, dude. Yeah. Like Smalls from freaking Sandlot. That is, I might go get some Oreos later. If you go, I, if you go, upstairs, I don't do it very often. Yeah, really, I get probably like three bags every two weeks. Damn. Okay, so that's your Dougie right there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I shouldn't, but it's just like there's nothing better than eating a couple of those, and then that makes me super thirsty, you know, because I'm obviously Duncan, you know, Duncan. And then God, once I get like five or six, and I'll get super thirsty, and like it's the most refreshing thing to drink that milk, dude. And it's like, oh my God, it's almost like euphoria dude it's so oh it's so great and then i just get super tired you fade fall asleep. fade into the distance yep. <laughs> get my num nums and yeah. go to sleep hell yeah yeah man it's like my warm milk that's when your aura changes yeah you know? god from red to blue yeah to midnight <laughs> yeah to violet yeah that's when i bleed <laughs> That's, that's when, when you I bleed? bleed. That's when I bleed my ki- my Kyber crystal. Oh, oh yeah, just like in the Acolyte, dude. Uh. <laughs> that's, when I bleed. that's when I bleed. Okay, you don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. I grab my favorite knife and I just. <laughs> <laughs> no. I play no. Hawthorne Hearts and I go, oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> but uh, what do you guys think about the acolyte? I lo- I was more favorable, fav- favorable. I was more favorable. Fav- I was more favorable, 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 favorable. favorable. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Yeah, I just don't like that noise coming from that refrigerator right now. Um, <laughs> Kylo, if you would get up and do something about it. <laughs> like, come on, refrigerator, we had a deal. It's going so good until it wasn't. Um, just like... The ten people that are still listening. <laughs> I'm so mad at you after that political bullshit. Um, just like... The overall story of having a lot of cool Jedi characters systematically annihilated throughout the entire season and then have a story about some Sith that was pretty cool. Some cool Sith stuff going on. Totally not make sense at the end. Really bummed me out, you know? And then just like everything well, what, is... What didn't make sense? <sighs> Don't want to spoil it. It's a huge spoilers coming at you. Spoilers yeah. for the acolyte. Yeah. Spoilers for the acolyte, just like we did for the boys. <laughs> yeah, we so, should have said it at the beginning. Yeah. So, like having your dark side apprentice like mind wiped, and then having a good, like a quote unquote good Jedi kill their master, and then go to the dark side, and then become this dude's boy or girlfriend. It's like, what? How is this all connecting? There wasn't. To me, it didn't make sense in any way. Because, like, if these people are a force dyad, which is supposed to be a very powerful thing in Star Wars, why would you wipe the other one's memory? Why wouldn't you just train them both at the same time? You know? Like, you watched it, right, Jackson? I I believe, like, they can only be, there's, there can only be one apprentice, right? Boom. Jackson took what, so... I can see why he didn't take two, didn't take Osha and May, because it's the rule of two. And 
I if mean, he is gonna take over, if he if his if his mission, just like any other apprentices, they usually the apprentice will secretly take another apprentice, you know, mm-hmm. and then try to take down their master and usually fail. But I think that's I think that's what was happening. You know, he I can't mean, he couldn't take both. I mean, if your dad is live or not your dad, if your Sith daddy is living in a cave in your backyard and he sees you leave with a girl. They, <laughs> I mean, like, what's going on here? Like, yeah. <laughs> and, like, the thing is, because, you know, like, in a lot of Star Wars, there's, like, people who aren't really Sith, but they still do the Sith shit, you know, like yeah. the Night Sisters and all that stuff. Inquisitors, dark people. Who's to people. say that even either of those two characters are even Sith? You know what I'm saying? Or, I mean, I know... The guy in the cave is obviously Sith, but who's to say that, uh, what was the, what's his name? Kamir or something? Kamir, yeah. What, who's to say he's even a Sith, you know, because he, he, even he was not like, like, you would call me a Sith in the one episode, you know? But who's to say he was even a Sith? He's probably just a, a follower of the dark side. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, wasn't that, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that the planet that we saw them living in? The same planet that Plagueis face came out of a cave? Yeah. It was the same planet? And that was his home base, right? Yeah. So, it's like, for me, it's like, it seems obvious that they, they've they been training together, you know? So, it's like, if there is a rule of two going on, it should be those two, you would think. Right. Well, but uh, like I said, you know, there's, throughout a lot of Star Wars, there is like, you know, Darth Vader, he does take a couple of secret apprentices you know what i'm saying yeah to try to take down the emperor could it be yeah. one of those things man yeah but i don't know it's like it seems like he would normally like like palpatine for instance he kills his master and then he gets apprentices and stuff after that mm-hmm. you know i mean dooku and all that after darth maul obviously but um, it's just like, it just seems weird to me that he would like, it's just weird that Plagueis would allow Kamir to even train May to begin with, not to mention switch it up and train Osha next. Like, what does that, how does that make sense for the rule of two for me? I'm almost thinking like maybe it doesn't apply yet. Or maybe... Chimere is maybe just someone that kind of was just hired to fetch one of them that was the strongest of the two, but he ended up falling for it in the end. I mean, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Because, yeah, it is weird. Because they're, I mean, if they are, if they are one person that was split, like, why were they split? Like, obviously supposed to make them more powerful, apparently, like. Because, Maybe. because they are a combined dyad, you know? So, to me, why would you split them up? Why would you erase one's memory that you've been teaching dark side stuff to, the one that was one kill away from being an apprentice? Like, it just doesn't make any sense, man. Yeah. She was one kill away from being an apprentice. She has more kills than Osha. I just think maybe he... He wanted her to took, force choke somebody. That's it. You just you just got to force choke somebody, and then you're <laughs> you're in the dark side. Like that's like, hey, you should have been force choking everybody. That should have been your first move, which is walk into the fight, force choke. Yeah. Boom. Don't, now move on to the next one. Don't don't throw <clears throat> daggers. Just force choke. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. That that just seems so dumb to me. <clears throat> I can see where you brush up against it. But the lightsaber fight was one of the coolest lightsaber fights I've seen in a while. Yeah, that was a cool lightsaber fight. Any lightsaber fight in a hallway is a cool lightsaber fight. When you get to see like the walls being cut up and stuff yes, like that. Yes, exactly. Uh, Environment destruction. I also like whenever Star Wars does moments where you can tell the Jedi are, t- are changing their atmosphere around them to be able to like slow motion fall or whatever. Um, but Or dodge. Or dodge, yeah, like and s- slide across the ground in like a C shape a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I do wish there was more of the uh, wire fighting. There's only wire fighting in like the first episode, the middle episode, and the end episode. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, <coughs> wire fighting to me is 
it was super cool. And if they're going for the whole like Japanese movie thing, there should have been more of it, I feel. But overall, I think it was good. I want to see a second season. Oh, they, they better have a second season to make it make sense. Yeah, and they got to show Palpatine at some point, right? I mean, if they're going to show Plagueis, I mean, you got to keep going with the story and show Palpatine. I mean, it's like 100 years before all that stuff, though, right? I mean... The Force can make you live unnaturally long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess. Maybe get there. Uh, yeah. Maybe some time jumps. Who knows? I mean... I mean... They did tease somebody at the end of that. I mean, how old? Spoilers. How old was he at the beginning of um, the Phantom Menace? Like, maybe forty. Yeah, maybe. F- f- I would say maybe in his late forties, early fifties. Maybe fifties. Yeah, at best. I mean, he looked young in the Phantom Menace. He I didn't mean, look super young. Like but he, he looked he younger. Looked like, he looked like a guy whose hair just turned white and he's just starting to dye it, but he's dyeing it a very light color, not a super dark color to make you think that it's like his natural color, you know. So in that same token, how old is Fraser then on Fraser? Would you say, how how old did you estimate Fraser is? Fraser on Fraser, dude, with the male pattern baldness, he could be anywhere from <laughs> thirty five to forty five. Okay, so you think I would because I would say they're probably the same age. If I if I put them together at a bar, I'd be like, "Oh, those guys are friends. They're the same age." Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can do, keep talking. I'm gonna see if I can do some googling. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, how. I'd love to know. I'd love to know. Yeah, tell me how? more. <laughs> Is uh, Palpatine? Um, and also like the Kyber crystal uh, bleed. Um, I love to see it. But fifty-two years old in episode one. Oh wow! Okay, Gosh. so I was wrong. Man, he lived for a long time. Okay, now ask how old was uh, the actor for Palpatine? How old was he in episode one when he filmed it? How, wait, what? The, the <laughs> actor for Palpatine in episode yes. one, The Phantom Menace. See how old he was. I think it's like Ian McDermott or something. Yeah, or some mix something. Um, but yeah, look how old he was whenever they filmed that. We we'd like to know. Uh, <laughs> you got a venom inside you. <laughs> <laughs> we are venom, Jackson. <laughs> we would like to know. Um, but yeah, just the Kyber crystal bleeding. I like, dude. I don't need to see the lightsaber. Go ahead. The lightsaber, Jackson. Okay, maybe I fucked up. I don't. You're good. You're good. I don't. Need to, I don't need to see the lightsaber. It gave me like, his actual age, his seventy-nine current, years. His current age, yeah. Um, I don't need to see the lightsaber like flicker, and then go red. Like all you got to show me is the crystal going from blue to red. That's all you got to show me. And then when the lightsaber pops on, I just want to see red. That's all I want to see. I feel you there. I thought it was a cool aesthetic, but. It's, an unnecessary one. It Complete, was unnecessary. You're right. Unnecessary. And then her looking dumbfounded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm a Sith? What? what? Killing this dude just made this thing turn red? Like, what? <laughs> That's all I had to do. <laughs> it's so dumb. Why isn't all this Jedi turning into Sith that wrongfully killed people? Yeah. What you got, Jack? He was like in his late 50s. Late like 50s? That. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so that makes like sense. A, there's like a big ten year gap between episode one and episode two. So in episode two, he's in his sixties, and then you got that huge jump from the time that Luke Skywalker is born and raised mm-hmm. after episode two. So did you could you search how old he was in canon? Oh fuck! How old, how was, old was, how old was Ian Palpatine in canon? No, how old was Palpatine <laughs> during the Phantom Menace? I want to get all the ages, connect all the dots, you know? Didn't he already find that out? <laughs> 52 years old. <laughs> he was 52 in canon? I thought that was something else that we were talking about. Episode it? 1 is the most canon. It's like, it's made by the dude, you know? Yeah, yeah, we, we get that. 52 years old. Man, yeah. Okay. So you think Fraser's 52? 
Oh, dude, I thought you were how saying... How old is Frasier? Th- <laughs> dude, I thought when you said one. 52 earlier, I thought that's what you looked up was how old Frasier was. Because that was the most recent question that we asked. No, my bad. I was looking up... <laughs> okay. I was looking up Palpatine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Palpatine, episode one. Good to know. Good to get that clear. <laughs> then out. you're like, in canon. In All canon, right. how old is Frasier? It's like... <laughs> okay, yeah. Now, now I'd like to know the Frasier question since we never got those. Okay. But... You do your thing to the side. Kyle, what did you... Did you have any other thoughts on the Acolyte? No. I, I liked it a lot. I liked the ending of them staying together uh, against uh, the, the, you know, the sun going down. Okay. That's a classic Star Wars move right there. Them with their backs to the... You know, them looking towards the horizon or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's a classic Star Wars scene. And I thought that was yeah. cool. Um, Fraser Crane. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, the hopeful ones in with them kind of celebrating or them getting awards, stuff like that. The hope, the hopeful ones, but the sad ones that are going to be sad the next episode are usually in with, like, that sunset. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it. But I like Say it. what? I'll explain it to you later. It's saying the sad, the, the sad is the sun setting and the good is the sun rising? Mm-hmm. No, the good is when they're all obviously celebrating, like at the end of Endor. Oh, okay. End of the uh, yeah. yeah, the fourth episode. Everybody's you know getting the medals. Yeah, yeah. End of the first episode when they get the orb. That's a great time. <laughs> I wish I would have got that orb, dude. It's a good orb. Great orb. I mean, they do get an orb, right? It's a dope orb. Dope orb. <laughs> Am I misremembering this? They get an orb, right? Isn't it one of those like cool electric orbs? Uh, see, I was googling something. You're talking about like as the as Qui Gon's burning. As Qui Gon's burning, um, Qui Gon. I don't, I don't think it's during the burning scene. I thought it was during the uh, when they're all getting medals. Yeah, they give they give it. It's called the Globe of Peace, and was a relic of the Naboo people. Yeah. yeah. I think and it's it, playing like jungle music in the background during the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I remember that. I love that. stuff like that. The globe of peace, dude. What a globe. <laughs> Fraser <Bloody> Crane. <laughs> Fraser Crane. <laughs> Fraser Crane is 41 at the beginning of Fraser in 93 and 52 at the end of the show. See, my wow. guess was between 35 and 45. So oh. I nailed it. Yeah. Things have been revealed. Just had to make sure. Yeah. But Palpatine was older. <laughs> yeah. Quite a bit older. Um, <clears throat> one thing I did, like the, the Plagueis reveal was cool. You know what it reminded me of? You guys, it? huh? It? Uh, kind of like it, but no. Um, it reminded me of the cover of Resident Evil 2. Okay. Do you know what the cover of that looks like? The game or the movie? The game. Resident Evil 2, the game. Uh, For PS1. It's been a long time. It's almost like it's a... I think it's a zombie hiding behind a door frame. Like, with a, with one eye peeking out of the door frame or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember seeing that... Because uh, we were a big, like, renting games kids. We rented a game... Like, seriously, every weekend. It was, like, either a game or two games yeah. and a couple movies. I was a big crime video kid at myself. That's how it was, man. Thankfully, our dad it. was... Our mom and dad were totally those kind of parents that were like, yes, you go get a video game so you can occupy yourselves. And <laughs> yeah. we would totally do that all weekend long, dude. Mm-hmm. Like That's how we first got Super Smash Brothers before we bought it. God, yeah, we yeah. got the crap out of Super Smash Brothers from the from crime video. But, uh... I, I remember going through those aisles looking at games and I always remember seeing Resident Evil 2 on the shelf before I'd even seen any of my friends play it and just looking at it and going, that's not something that I'll ever play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like That's too scary, bro. That's too scary for me. <laughs> <laughs> too much blood, man. Yeah, yeah. I, well. I can't see the rest of that guy's face. <laughs> I don't like it. But uh, is there anything from your guys' childhood you guys... Like that comes to your mind that just by looking at it scared you and you were like nah. Uh, nah. The I, it was one of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre um, VHS covers. It was the one where ah oh, man, 
It, it literally looked like it was a girl putting on lipstick, you know? But okay. instead of the lipstick, it was a chainsaw, you know? And it kind of had the sparks going off it like it was kind of cutting against metal, you know? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> wow. But, that did, that but it, it wasn't really you. so much that, the front, but it was the on? stuff that I saw in the back. <laughs> it was the stuff I saw in the back. So, like, I was uh, like, holy shit. Some wild stuff. That's how a lot of those movies were. <laughs> like, because I, I was so interested in horror movies. Especially creature features, man. Mm-hmm. The super shitty B movies with the giant raptors and freaking. Oh, we watched snakes. a lot of those, bro, on yeah. Sci Fi Channel. I was all about. I loved bad horror movies back then. I couldn't stop watching bad sci fi horror movies. <laughs> yeah, our dad is all about like bad sci fi. I like bad movies too, man. I got really into Mystery Science Theater. I've watched like almost every episode of that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm down for it. If, it, if it's bad. Mac and me, I mean, good time. <laughs> Mac and me is a good time. <laughs> Mac and me is a great time. Yeah. I need to rewatch that. Is there anything that comes to your mind, Connor, that... Just outright scares me? Yeah, that from when you were a kid, is like, just by looking at the cover of it or something, or someone yeah. talking about it, like, you heard it through the grapevine, like, this thing was scary as fuck, and you're like, man, that's too much for me. Like, I know I'll be too much you know i can't remember anything specifically but i'm sure i saw like you know like clown type stuff i want to say i probably saw like it like the clown stuff on it i I remember seeing that as a kid being like that looks pretty freaking weird you know like i don't know if i want that Um, man the thing with it i you remember that book that people would read it was called i think child called it yes okay yeah I always, I always thought it was like it, and then part two was a child called it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the child called it. Uh, okay. Yeah, every time I saw those books, I was like, man, like, yeah. I'll never read those. That's, they sound scary. Yeah. Yeah, I've read it, and yeah, it's, it's just like the movies. You know, first half is pretty good. Until you get to the ending of the first half. You know what I'm saying? Because for some reason, they decided to do some kind of crazy bonding experience. Mm. And then the latter half is just kind of lame. <laughs> yeah. hey, it's out in the open now. Uh, yeah. But I do want to add one more onto uh, covers. Okay. I want to say it was called Brain Dead. I'm going to actually see if I could pop it up. But... The cover was somebody kind of like opening their mouth and it was like, I don't know what to call it, but it looked like, uh, like just like a crazy dead thing trying to like come out of their mouth. I'm going to look up the cover. I just want to see if I can find it real quick. Yeah. The it VHS cover. I do remember seeing this one. Oh yeah. I remember seeing that all the time, walking through oh, yeah. video. The moment my eyes would catch it, I would look away and keep looking. Yes, at the rest of yeah. this was it. Yeah, I've seen that cover before. Yeah, okay. Dead yeah. One. yeah, yeah. I saw that so many times. Directed by Peter Jackson. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah. Good on him. It's uh like whenever it came out, it was considered like one of the goriest movies of all time. But if you watch it, it really is just super campy. And all the special effects are just way over the top. Mm, it's not wow. horror. Like, it's supposed to be horror. But when you watch it, it's like, this is more comedy than anything. I can see this scaring people in the 1960s. <laughs> yeah. 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 I have a challenge for you, Jackson. You got a challenge for me? All right. Yeah. There's a reason why there's Hershey Kisses right there on the, on the thing. Oh, no. Okay. I heard about something... On either a podcast or something, someone was talking about it. Do you think you could eat a Hershey Kiss, put them on both your shoulders, and eat one Hershey Kiss out the other? Well, <laughs> like eat one and the other one without them falling off your shoulders. <laughs> do you think you could do it, dude? Without like moving them hardcore. Depends on where you put them on my shoulders, bro. Connor, do you think you could do it? Probably not. (laughs) Why would I think I could do that? (laughs) Because I'm going to challenge you guys right now to do it. Okay, bitch. (laughs) Jackson, first step. All right, let's see Jackson do it. 
Jackson, you got this, bro. Why are they wet? They're not wet. They're in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, he's been practicing. <laughs> practicing. You pee on these, man? No, man. I did not pee on them. I just bought these like an Will hour ago. Will you pee ago. on these, man? <laughs> I just bought these like an hour and a half ago. Right before I got my hair cut. All right. So the objective is to place one on each of my shoulder and then be able to eat it. Mm-hmm. It's all about, like, keeping it on my shoulder once I've placed one on there. Yeah. Also about placement. You don't want to go too far. It's exactly about placement. You want me to place them for you? Okay. You one there? I got the other one exactly where I want. (laughs) 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 These are some new crazy shoulder pads, bro. Let me get a fucking picture. You, you want a fucking picture of me, though? <laughs> that is a good look for you, bro. Not gonna lie. All right. Oh my gosh, Jack. <laughs> oh, fuck. That one just hit the ground. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Knew you couldn't fucking do it. What's the challenge again? <laughs> Just to eat both of them without them falling off at, at all. all. Okay. And I can put them on whatever shoulder I want. No, both of them have to be uh, one, uh, one on each. One on each. Nah, screw that. Man. That's not how I play. All right. You got to unwrap them, Connor. No, I don't. Is this good enough for you guys? Am I allowed to do it this close? Good job, <laughs> No, I eat them. <laughs> I'm going to call foul. He has to unwrap them. Uh, yep. Because the my thing trick. is... Yeah, I the, think he grabbed onto the paper. Yeah. And the uh, metal. I know he did it. The metal has resistance. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Keys, uh, you got to go interior in, inside of your... Uh, your Whatever these muscles are you called. You think so? Is yeah. that it? That way, whenever you can... I just cheated. That way it goes the direction. You want it to go a certain direction, you know, towards your mouth, not away from it. I got you to get... <sighs> Let me try and, it one more time. And I can also <laughs> Go tie, for it, dude. <laughs> I, can, I can also tie a cherry. I need one more. Really? With my tongue. Really, Connor? Yeah. Watch me. Did you do it with, with unwrapped? <laughs> yes. Did you do it? Here it is. Did you do it successfully? <laughs> Oh, you're saying the thing? No, I didn't do the thing. It's All right. Successfully. A bam. <clears throat> and a bam. While Jackson's doing that, I'm going to talk about the rest of my week. Man, I got news. Then my knees weren't fucked up. Very good. Yeah, dude. Yes. It was really awesome hearing that I don't have fucked up knees. Is uh-huh. he getting it? <laughs> He's getting it. He's getting it. Get it, boy. Get it. Put that in your mouth. <laughs> Use the tongue. There you go. <laughs> it's all about the placement, dude. It's all about the it's all placement. about the placement. <laughs> Jackson, you're gonna have to go with the social after this. <laughs> it counts. Yeah, it counts. He had to save his outfit. No, yeah. I was about to start drooling all over myself. <laughs> Yeah, it's so good that your knee's not torn, dude. That's, that's so scary, having something like that happen. Especially after all the surgeries and stuff. It's like, not another one, man. Yeah, I'm excited that I get to, get to play golf the rest of the year. I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about having surgery, dude. It's a lot of money and, like, pain. Um, Man, what did you guys think about... Isn't that crazy that Microsoft's shit went down today? Mm-hmm. And, like, it was that cloud share thing. Did you hear about that? No. Like... Computers like in the computers and like internet across the world was fucked up today. Computers everywhere. Yeah. Oh, I think I saw something about like a bunch of planes had to get grounded. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the crazy. first thing I saw about it was that. I think it's just crazy, man, that something like that could really fuck up our infrastructure the way it did. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Yeah, we need software. 
Yeah. IBM. I still don't know exactly what happened. <laughs> well, um, from what Rachel said to me earlier, uh, she said, CrowdStrike said the glitch happened when they did an update on their EDR product and point detection and response system. <laughs> you know what all that means. Bad update caused everything to yeah. fuck up. Just f- an update, dude. Isn't that crazy? Updates be crazy, man. Mm-hmm. They do be crazy. Especially when all this stuff is like the infrastructure is based on this stuff. You got to make sure the updates are good before you push the update. Oh, yeah. It's kind of crazy, man. Yeah, it's wild that it, something like that got through to that point. Mm-hmm. Um, Rachel was telling me something wild. She was saying that you, you guys know who Mr. Beast is? Yeah. She was saying that there's people out there right now that think he's the Antichrist. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because of his following? Because of his following, the things he does, and like his logo. Beast? <laughs> Beast or beast? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Starting to add up. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? I think they're the same fucking retards that like look at a can of monster energy drink and they're like, you tip it up, you're drinking with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> drinking with the devil. Yeah. These are Arab numbers, which are all sixes. It's like, no. <laughs> this is fucking ginseng and a bunch of other shit that's not good for you. Just mm-hmm. put into a can. There's no difference between what this we, and like other bullshit. What if we told you that Mr. Beast owns Monster? Fuck. <laughs> That'd be crazy <laughs> if it was true, man. I then, think it's also like the same I would kind say of people maybe in the 70s that were like saying, like, oh, you play this record backwards, you hear right. a satanic message. What if Mr. Beast's mom was that chick from the second Evil Dead movie and her finger's always on that record player? Right. <laughs> Then he's the devil. Yep. I'll believe it then. I need to yeah. give that movie another I think, watch through. Personally, I think uh, talk like that is extremely dangerous because people will yeah. believe it. And yeah. re- religious fanatics might take a shot at a dude who's just a dude living his life. That's true, man. You got a point. Us even talking about it. But... Um, you guys think anybody else is the is you guys think anybody else right now out there is being the antichrist? Um so not to get political. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would get very uh into religion with this answer, um but I I technically do not believe in the devil, so I do not believe in the antichrist specifically. I do believe in God. I do pray to God. I do not believe in the devil or that hell is real. That's just my viewpoint. So, I, by that logic, there is no Antichrist. And there also is no real foretold apocalypse, in my opinion. Yeah. You gotta believe something, right? Yeah, I mean, if you <laughs> want to believe that the world's gonna end, that's all on you. I think we have the power to save this world. You know, if hmm. if we're putting a bunch of plastic in the ocean... And that's destroying the ocean. Maybe we don't do that. Stuff like that, you know? Like, stuff that makes sense. But that's just me. That's what I believe. <laughs> so no, no, what? nobody's the Antichrist. In my opinion. Yep. See? <laughs> Not even Larry Bird? Not even Larry Bird, mm-hmm. no. I heard something that there's like a, like a Texas-sized... Like island, it's just nothing but trash. It's out in the ocean, just floating. Why don't we just take that island? That could be our island, bro. The thing is, a lot of it's like underwater. Oh, it's not just like a big island you can like walk across. Oh, yeah. Then it's a base. <laughs> <laughs> you just compact it together. I don't know, man. Like I said, with the whole Mr. Beast thing, that's dangerous talk, man. It really is. With how many religious fanatics there are in this country. Yeah. It's, it's kind of crazy. With guns. With guns. When I heard that, I'm just like, what, dude? Yeah, he does some weird stuff, but it seems like he's just a generally kind of a good guy that just likes to give away money. Maybe he does some kind of fucked up shit sometimes, but... 
<clears throat> I always hear that people think that his videos are very good and stuff. Yeah, so he doesn't I don't, really I don't, ever I personally bother don't. me. I always wonder, like, how the hell are you paying for all of this stuff, dude? <laughs> you're giving the money away? No way you're just making that money from straight YouTube, dude. Right, exactly. I don't know. That dude does get billions of views, so. Billions? Mr. Beast, <laughs> if you feel charitable, <laughs> yeah. throw some of the views our way. Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man, but one thing I do know, I'm ready to go ahead and move into Yo Dude. Check this out. Been ready. Heard that. Yo Dude. Hey, yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo Dude. Uh. Yo, dude, check this out. This person recreated all of Final Fantasy VII and Little Big Planet Two, and that that game is just a uh, just a side-scrolling platformer. And this game looks insane. Um, so if you're a big fan of Final Fantasy VII, check it out. Uh, Polygon's got an article about it, and yeah, there's like a 15-minute video showing all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, when you sent that, I was kind of blown away. I was like, this is kind of crazy looking. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Cool to check out. Yeah. Jackson, you got one? Uh, yo. Uh, you know why, uh, like, medicine shit is usually tamper-proof, you know? Yeah. Comes with, yeah. Freaking, well, the reason why it's all tamper-proof is because Tylenol got switched with, like, ah, oh, man, I forget what it was, but, like, basically some kind of, like, Deadly medicine that if you like take it like that, it'll just kill you. Fentanyl. Pro- it wasn't fentanyl. <laughs> I don't even think fentanyl existed. It probably wasn't. Time, but yeah. Yeah. Nobody has ever been charged for like any of the murders that happened like during that time that like, okay, now we got to start making tamper proof packaging for Tylenol. Wow. Whenever that should Wouldn't started. that be more of an accidental death in a murder, Jackson? Nah, because the person that was, uh, never mind. I was going to say, did somebody kill somebody? I hate trying to find something, like, you start reading something, like, you get a good headline right here, right? And then you try to find out more about it, and it was like, uh, you're talking about the difference between this business and business ethics. Whereas (laughs) commentary replied, dude, it's like, dude, no. Tell me the story. (laughs) There's never good information. Uh, yo, See, dude, check this out. Yo, dude, there's no good information on that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know that lemons aren't a naturally occurring food? Oh, really? Yeah, lemons, studies have shown that lemons are actually a hybrid of, or a cross between bitter orange and citron. See, once again, I think you just... No, this is from the star.com, <laughs> dude. This is real, yeah. bro. All right. I eat yeah. citrons all the time. Yeah. Dude. yeah. <laughs> and the bitter orange is actually a hybrid of a pomelo and a mandarin. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a cross of a cross with a cross of another cross, and that's how you <laughs> get lemon. Okay. You'll never see <laughs> it coming. <laughs> yep. Well, this has been a fantastic episode of the podcast, dude. So good. Yeah, dude. We mainly just had to talk about the boys and Acolyte for the most part. Yep. I'll have to get caught back up on House of the Dragon. What the fuck is your problem, I don't know what happened to Homeboy after freaking he fell down. The well? Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) After Jamie Lannister pushed him out the window. Mm -hmm. You know something weird about Humpty Dumpty? What? When he fell off that wall and he fell into a bunch of pieces, all the king's men and their horses, the horses got together. <laughs> and they were like, we got to put them back together. <laughs> People don't talk so about those the horses. horses were in that huddle trying to... <laughs> the horses were the first, all the king's horses yeah. and the men. So technically the horses played a bigger role. I bet the king had a fuckload of horses, and he said all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's any truth to that story. Humpty! No. Just a live Humpty Dumpty out there running around. Supposedly, the legend is Humpty Dumpty is actually the name of a cannon that's set on the side of a castle wall. 
That is the legend or the myth. Really? Yes. A canon. Because huh? people always wonder, like, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. They always considered him to just be an egg person. Uh, that's always been <laughs> conveyed to me. Humpty Dumpty's an egg man. Yeah, egg, <laughs> egg person, for sure. Turns out it might have been a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> an egg man. Egg sexual. Yep, <laughs> egg sexual. All right. 145 Crashing with Friends podcast. Y'all have a good one. Like and subscribe, and then undo all of that. Mm -hmm. And delete your <laughs> podcast network feed. Stop paying your internet. Stop paying your house bills. <laughs> <laughs> Live on the street. <laughs> Become a nomad. All right. Episode 145, Become a Nomad. <laughs> Crashing with Friends podcast.